Hello, my name is Akello. Welcome to the Keep Growing Detroit Farm. Today we'll be talking about thinning. In your garden resource program called Crop Seeds, you receive you might have received carrots, spinach, beets, turnips, and those are seeds that we recommend that you thin. And so today we'll be talking about how to thin those plants. So in front of us here we got some carrots that were planted about two weeks ago. They're starting to come up all well. But if we let these carrots go and get to their, their regular height, they're going to start competing with each other. And so what we want to do is come in here and kind of relieve, <laughs> kind of thin them or get rid of some of them so that we can have more nutrients for those carrots that we want to keep inside of here. So like when you're starting off, you get your seed packet, you're slowing them in rows, you're probably planting probably five within each inch or so and so after those plants grow out you're going to come back out here after they start to get this high and they start to pop you're going to come through um, ideally you have a measuring utensil because most of our recommendations um, have you thin your plants to around three inches or four inches and really that call is going to be up to you whether or not you thin or not and how far apart you want those plants to be. Um, when you space them, when you're, when you're thinning them, what you're doing is increasing the yield. So when you increase the amount of nutrients, um, ideally that plant is gonna have more, more available to it to produce a better crop. And so some people might think, oh, when I'm yielding, I'm getting rid of those carrot plants. But what you're doing, you're, you're ultimately gonna have a, a better product. If I had these carrot plants grow as they were right together, there'd be a bunch of really spindly carrots right next to each other that won't really um, nourish you. And so just for example over here, so I got some carrots that are right on top of each other. What you're gonna look for is that really big carrot, that one that looks the biggest. Um, that's a good indicator that it's gonna grow the biggest. And so we got some other ones that are right next to it. So I'm gonna take my ruler and you can use your hand once you learn like, oh, my hand is like four inches apart or my finger is three inches apart. Then you can just take your hand and oh, I know that I'm gonna have one carrot on this side. I'm gonna take out any ones in between here and then have my next one here, so on and so forth. Have no space down the way. So in this example here, you're gonna look for your biggest carrot first. Any of those smaller ones, you're just gonna prick them out, just like so. I'm gonna leave these ones because they're not quite ready for thinning. The rest of them haven't really come up yet. You can see the smaller ones over here. These ones are just a bit more quicker than that. it apart about my um, hands okay so let me know if I'm stuck in the shop <clears throat> so this lettuce so I'm gonna identify the lettuce that's the best but for this demonstration purposes I'm just gonna go with the one at the end one in the middle and then one in the one on the other end so I like this plant right here so I'm just gonna snip it and you want to try, if you're going to use scissors, try to cut the plant below its growing point. So, so that you make sure that you uh, stop the plant's growth. You want to cut it below the small growing point. So, we don't have any new plants growing below that. So, if we cut anywhere above that, that plant is still alive. It can still grow. Leave one in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
And if you saw these lettuces, they were all bunched together, really competing with each other and really tying up the trees. <clears throat> and so they weren't going to grow to their fullest potential by us coming through and thinning these plants. Um, we're giving them that. That helped to get to their potential. So. Alright. So, once I clear out these plants here. We just got a couple left. We'll cover that up just so that we can see when I'm done. So after... We got our lettuce finished, we just got those three. And so these lettuces, well, for demonstration purposes, we wouldn't normally do this with lettuce, disclaimers. <laughs> those, these lettuces will ideally have enough space to get a bit bigger. And if we leave these in here, we'll see the dramatic change in their growth. And uh, just for educational purposes, like if we left whatever plant um, really so thickly the roots would just really start to be entangled and they would really start to compete and there won't be that much nutrients to share between them so that's why we come through and uh, and thin them now if you do want to avoid thinning you know just take the extra time and just space your plants out ideally how you would have them so instead of just coming through and planting a bunch of seeds you come through with your spacing still plant like one or two seeds in that space and then do one or two seeds over here one or two seeds over there okay it's just going to take you a little bit longer but you can avoid the part where you're getting rid of those seeds after they grow all right thank you all for your time that's it